great. Um, we obviously had multiple bodies go down. Denny not playing. Bilal go down five minutes in the game, and then Corey, you know, got sick and during the warmups. Wasn't feeling good. So credit to our guys to keep battling and showing the resilience that we want to see out of them. Um, I thought Jordan and Kyle really stepping up, pushing us. But then we had great contributions from, you know. Patrick Bolton Jr., Johnny Davis, Jared Butler. Those guys came in and gave us great minutes. Rashawn Holmes, who's new to our team. So, like, the whole team was a team effort to get us to the end, and uh, I was proud of how the guys kept fighting. How are Corey and Bilal feeling now? Uh, Corey, we'll see. You know, we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Uh, Bilal, you know, we got injured during the game, so we'll, you know, we'll, we'll know more information as we go. Coach, uh, what did you see from Jordan uh, tonight and his performance? And what do you think uh, he has to do to establish a, a baseline of consistency to you know, kind of help him finish out his season strong? I think one of the things I said uh, you know, a couple days ago, Jordan has been one of the highest net ratings since I've coached. So like, Jordan has played well for us. Um, now we're seeing him in a different type of role, the ball in his hands a little bit more. And I see we're seeing incremental gains in the last three games from this. And I think we're going to continue to see that. And that's what I expect from him. Brian, uh, how limiting was the absence of size on the wing and maybe the lack of size defensively down the stretch? Um, I, you know, it probably played a factor. Um, but our guys battled. Like They hit some tough contested threes over us. It wasn't like they manhandled us in the paint when it was offensive rebounds and stuff. I thought our defense was solid. We contested some of those threes, and they made them. And that's sometimes how it goes. But I thought our guys battled, you know, and you know we did a, a pretty good job on Garland and Mitchell. Um, those guys didn't shoot what they usually do and don't didn't score what they usually do. What specifically did you like about Jordan's performance? Um, uh, like I told Jordan when, from when I started coaching, I want him to be an aggressive, to be in attack mode. And he did that. And he did that for himself, and he did that for others. Obviously, he made his shots tonight, you know, which was great. But like the process has been good. I've liked what the process has been lately for him. Coach, the defense on Mitchell and Garland was good from our perimeter guys. But Allen and Mobley each had over 20 points. How do you plan on um, correcting the paint defense in the future? Some of that was basis a little bit of what we were doing, trying to get the ball out of those hands. So a little bit is they were going to get receiving end passes. Um, so they were, they were going to probably have an uptick, but we would live with some of that. We made mistakes. We're going to look at it tomorrow and get better at it. But we wanted to make Mitchell and Garland passers. You mentioned uh, the defense against Mitchell and Garland. How do you think Johnny Davis did in, in that situation? I thought he was great. I uh, got caught with the one foul and you know went for the pump fake. But other than that, Johnny's been great. The last three games, his defense has been great. His defensive rebounding has been great. He brings great energy. Um, but that's kind of the role we envisioned for him. He's been uh, positive on the defensive end. Coach, uh, as a as a leader, what uh, type of message do you give to the team to you know kind of keep their spirits up and and hopefully try to try to try to get out of this uh, rut that they're in? Uh, that you shouldn't be happy we lost. We're never happy about that, but we should be about the process. So that reminded us that you know we didn't have two good games over the trip, uh, coming out of the break, but that looked like the team that we have been building. And if we keep stacking those type of habits, repeatable actions that we showed tonight, that will lead to the win. So we're focused on the process on how to get there. And I thought our guys made a great step in that direction tonight. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, everybody. Safe travels.